Let's go get some crumble cookies. Hi there, it's Claire from Clarify Creations and today's video is going to be a bit of a different one. I am so excited. I'm going to be reviewing crumble cookies this week and I've never done anything like this before but I thought, you know, it's a really good excuse to go out and get cookies. So if you like this video, definitely comment down below and maybe I will do this more often. I have had their cookies before but I've never actually went to the store. If you guys are new to my channel, I just graduated from nursing school, kind of taking the summer off, and then I'm starting my first job as a new grad in a couple months now. Let's just go ahead and get into this week's cookies. I'm going to be sharing my ratings of all the cookies, tell you guys what I think, and what is my impression of them. The first cookie that we have is the fruit pizza. I don't know if you guys can see that. But according to their website, it says it is a soft sugar cookie topped with a tart lemony frosting and a spread of fresh assorted fruit. So you can kind of see. I think it'll be interesting to try a grape on a cookie. I've never, never tried that before. I know that there is oatmeal raisin, but it'll be interesting to see what that is about. And then the next one we have over here is the Galaxy Brownie, and that sounds very very good it is a brownie cookie covered in a warm fudge glaze and sprinkled with rainbow candy bits a peanut butter blossom and that is the iconic peanut butter cookie rolled in white sugar decorated with a rich swoop of fudge frosting so you can kind of see that in the middle and then lastly we got over here this is the one i'm probably most excited about and it is the wedding cake and it says it is a soft vanilla bean cookie covered with vanilla and raspberry frostings topped with white chocolate pearls if you can already tell my cookies have been melting because i've been trying to take some pictures of them and it is a hot day you guys it's 88 degrees so let's actually just raise this ac up a little bit more without further ado let's just start tasting i'm gonna start with this fruit pizza and i will actually show you guys up close too i really should have brought a knife and i meant to but then i forgot it so we're gonna improvise here try not to spill all these fruit pizza up close and see with this frosting Okay, we got, actually we only got half a grape on this. Mm. Mm. Okay, so my thoughts, I'm not really a huge fan of sugar cookies. I think, quite honestly, they have too much sugar. So I don't really love the base of it. It is soft and crumbly, but I don't know guys, I think it's a little bit too sweet. I do really, really love the frosting though. The lemon frosting is a very nice addition so it kind of elevates the cookie a little bit. And I'm not sure how I feel about the fruit on top. I'm gonna try this orange slice just to see. I don't know if this really goes. That tastes like a canned orange, to be honest. My rating, I'm gonna be rating all of these out of 10. I'd say a six out of 10. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I really did like the lemon frosting, but that was about it, so. And it is kind of personal preference. I feel like if I actually enjoyed sugar cookies, it might be a little bit higher. This wedding cake. This is the beautiful one. Like I did say, it is a little melted, which is kind of sad. One of my all-time favorite combinations flavor-wise is white chocolate raspberry, and this sounds almost like white chocolate raspberry because you got the white chocolate pearls, the raspberry frosting. I do kind of wish that they would put raspberry inside the cookie too, not just vanilla bean, but I haven't tasted it yet. I'm gonna get the vanilla, actually the pearls in this, so I can take it all in in this bite. You guys, 
this was just as good as I thought it was gonna be. Maybe even a little better. Let's try the frosting again. Love the base. I do really love the vanilla. The frosting is really good. I wish it were cooler, but you know, what can you do when it's really hot outside and your air conditioning isn't on full blast? I think this would be much better chilled in the fridge, so it would be nice and cold. But overall, the white chocolate pearls on top of it, the creaminess, and you can kind of taste that little bit of tartness from the raspberry, so it cuts down some of the sugar too. But the cookie is warm. I would say this would be a 9 out of 10. It's really, really yummy. If I let myself, I would definitely eat the majority of these cookies. And the purpose of this is to taste them, not to, you know, go crazy and eat four crumble cookies. The next one we're going to try is the peanut butter blossom. You can see the cracks on here with the chocolate in the middle. And just another random fun fact about me, I am a chocolate person. I love chocolate. It smells like a peanut butter cookie that was just freshly braked, braked, baked. I guess we're gonna get messy here because I did not think this through. I'm just gonna, <laughs> gonna put this in so I can get the actual chocolate too because I feel like it's supposed to be tasted together. All right, three, one, two, three. The flavors all there but the chocolate in the middle I'm a little bit disappointed with it doesn't taste like that rich chocolate flavor it just kind of tastes like canned chocolate frosting that's the best way I can put it all right I'm back and my camera did just overheat unfortunately and the air is on even more so I really do apologize if that is all you're hearing I'm gonna talk loud and try and get through this a little bit faster what I was saying about the chocolate I don't really think it needs it I think if it were just a peanut butter base and maybe a peanut butter frosting even it would be better than trying to combine them just because the chocolate it doesn't really add anything and it kind of takes away though so the peanut butter was really good a 7 out of 10 without the chocolate, I would just scrape off the chocolate and eat the cookie. We have saved the ultimate chocolate one for last. Look. And just show you all. Look at how thick and chocolate chocolate Wow. Oh my goodness. This is so, so fun. I definitely got more on my dashboard. <laughs> the flavor of this, you just get chocolate on top of chocolate and then the little fun candy pieces, I think they're called, rainbow candies. They actually add a really nice crunch to it. So you're getting the sweetness of the chocolate and then you get a nice little surprise crunch. My rating for this one is gonna be a nine out of 10. So right up there with the wedding cake. This is more of a different flavor profile. You definitely have to be in the mood for something really rich and decadent. I don't think I could eat a whole one of these. I could be wrong. I've definitely surprised myself before. But because it is very rich, I would say the wedding cake is much lighter. Mm. And it's soft and crispy on the outside. Don't feel like any of them are underbaked or overbaked. It's just right. Rankings wise, number one was tied for wedding cake and the galaxy brownie. I might actually change that. I'm gonna have another bite. Wedding cake was my favorite, 9.5 out of 10. The galaxy brownie, nine out of 10. The peanut butter cookie, seven out of 10. And then the fruit pizza, six out of 10. 
so those are my rankings let me know down below if you guys have tried this week's lineup and what you all think which one is your favorite cookie or just in general what is your favorite that they've had so far in the past that you really enjoy thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys later bye <laughs> oh no oh no what's going on why no don't don't backlight me there's someone coming, so I'm just going to act natural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.